What's up, guys? This is uh, simple Gary's Mod tutorials. These are all the very basics of tools and different things about the game. Um, if you know anything more than just tools and stuff, maybe look for something more advanced. But uh, this is number 10. Uh, I will continue where I left off. And we were in the middle of doing some poser stuff. So we got the face poser, the eye poser. Now the next thing is the finger poser. And it's a lot like the face poser. Oops. Oh, uh, I forgot. You have to right click with this one. Anyway, um, it's, I don't know how to really describe it, but they're kind of like sliders. And if you watch her hand as I do it, see her finger moving? So it's like a degree of movement, and the yellow ones have two different types of movements. The blue one's only going to go one way. So I could really, if I spent the time to sit here and mess with this, put her hand into a fist. But honestly, I'm just wasting time here. You get the idea. <laughs> yeah, pinky. Um, that's the finger poser. Inflator is, you'll see people mess with this a lot. Imagine the ragdoll being like a balloon, and you're just blowing it up. That's all it is. And then you can shrink it back down, so you can also make it really skinny. Pretty simple. And I'm going to actually turn off my smart snap, because that's getting annoying. Whoops. There we go. Yeah, that's the inflator. She's skinny! Uh... Oops. And retaser. This is just what you would think it resizes it to an exact number instead of the inflator tool or whatever. Um, that does all bones. Ha! Ah! Ah! Anyway, so that's all the poser stuff. Um, like I said, I don't ever really use it, but it has its purposes. If you want to make comic strips or whatever by doing, you know, taking photos of specific ragdolls in certain poses and stuff. That's totally how you do it. Uh, I don't ever mess with that. Alright, so render. Um, advanced material, you won't really ever see that. Camera is really fun. Um, it's a good way to spy on people. It's a good way to just keep an eye on your... Say you've got a base or something you want to keep an eye on. This is how you do it. Uh, you just grab the tool. Um, select what key you want it. I always do mouse 3, just because it's easy. Um, static means, exactly as it says right here, the camera will be unmovable. It won't be able to be manipulated in any way. I don't like that. I like to move it around. And then toggle. All you have to do is click, and there it is. Now, if I press the, uh, press the button, um, you'll be able to see me, what I look like. Um, this might be slightly surprising to you, and why am I still crouched? Oh, I like broke my game. So, there I am! I'm a skeleton. But yeah, anyway. If you know anything about Gary's Mod, you, that would probably wasn't surprising. Uh, so, when you press the button, it'll go into the view or whatever, and I have mine on toggle, and then I just have to press it again, and you're out of the view. Something that's kind of fun to do is go into the view, grab your physics gun, grab the camera. So, this is what it looks like normally. This is what it looks like in the camera view. And move it around. And if I hold E and rotate it, oh, oh. obviously you can get some pretty interesting views. Um, one thing that's really useful with this is say you get one of these vehicles, um, the good old Jeep that you'll see a lot of people use, and you just like the vehicles I was showing earlier, you just press E to get into them, and um, you know you drive it around or whatever. You can hit Control on a vehicle, and it'll go into a third-person view. But maybe that's not exactly what you want. Maybe you want your view to be in a very specific spot. Well, that's where the camera will come in. You can take the camera, spawn it in, place it where you want. Say I want it like all edgy and cool and off the tire angle or whatever. Yeah. And then weld that. And then drive around. All edgy and cool. <laughs> so, you can see there, that's the first example of kind of tying multiple 
things together to do something. So I, I use the camera tool and the weld tool to make a different camera angle for a vehicle. That's really what Gearing's Mod is about, honestly. So, that's the camera. Um, one more thing about it, one awesome thing about it. If you right-click and then go into it, it tracks you. It watches wherever you go. So I can go up here, still goes to me, go backward. It'll follow you wherever you go. One thing to remember about this is it doesn't have physics. So you can move it around, but it won't fall. It won't do anything like that. Um, actually, you know, I don't even remember if you can weld it or anything. Oh, no, yeah, you can't even... I'm clicking on it and nothing's happening. So you can't even weld it or anything, so... Just keep that in mind. Alright, color tool. This one's fun. Uh, color and material cool, tool... tool pip, pip, pip. Material and color tool will uh, change the way things look. So if I just change this to red and then click... Oh, excuse me, sorry. I had one other setting messed up. It'll change the color. Whatever color I set it to. Um, you can change the RGB value here, so the red, green, blue. And then this last value is the alpha, which is also this slider here. If you change it down... Look at that. It's transparent. Or translucent. Or whatever the word is. But yeah, that's how you do that. Um, you can change it down to zero, and you can't even see the prop at all. It's still there. Like, you can hear it. Still, You can see the grid. It's still there. It's just you can't see it. And I knocked it over. I can change it back. Um, you can do, like, black, obviously. Any color you want. Uh, pretty much completely unlimited. Let's do orange. Yeah. Um, so you have that. You have some preset colors here. Um, render mode. I suggest you just going and messing with these because I'm not going to go through all of them because there's render and render effects. Um, render mode isn't very specific. Like, I don't really know how to put the terms down to really explain what that means, but um, it will do some effects, but some you won't even notice because so it ties in with also render effects. Um, so here's a good one. Uh, it's not even a very good one. Yeah, there's that one. I don't waste with these all that much, so it's... I don't remember which good one to really show. Strobe. These are the good ones. Yeah, see that? So I can make it change colors and have an effect to it. Anyway. So let's go ahead and change this color back. And I'm gonna... Hit, um, oops. I have the wrong tool. I'm gonna hit R, and it resets it. Remember, R, R does that kind of stuff. Reset, remove, things like that. I'm going to go to the material tool now. does a lot the same kind of thing. And when you first click it, sometimes your game will lag a little bit like it kind of did just there. Um, but it changes the like the texture of it. See how like, this is grass. That's like brick. That's a cobblestone. This is kind of concrete. Those are all different type of materials. And that's what the material tool will do. It'll change that. So right now it's this kind of concrete, like what a barrier would look like. And now it's brick. And now it's plastic kind of stuff. And now it's this weird invisible glowy stuff. And there's a ton of these. A lot of these have to do with add-ons too. Um, I think this is Counter-Strike, which I don't have. Counter-Strike Source. So it doesn't work. So I click these and nothing happens because I don't have that add-on. Um, and I know I have... Uh, what is it called? It's like a, um, it's like gold. Oh, it is gold. I just forget where it's at. Anyway, they, they all have names, and so if you try to remember the names, it's easier to find them, but for the most part, a lot of these are kind of not look like what they look like here. So in this, this looks really faded, but in real life, it's really bold. So you really just kind of have to click them. Or like, what's a good example? Some of these, they don't look transparent, but when you actually paste it on there, it is. Or like this one. It's really shiny, but you can't really tell here. Anyway, so it's kind of weird, but... Oh, this one's pretty, pretty cool. It's like a wind, uh, like a mosaic window. But it's uh, of... Uh, I forget his name, Gordon Freeman. 
for this one. <laughs> Animated. Anyway, that's a material tool. Um, taking way too much time here because we're already <laughs> over. All right, so that was uh, that was tutorial ten, and we'll see you in the next one.